it is good to be back. We are in Orange County, right? This is officially Orange County. Not Orange County, California, but... Okay, I watch Orange County Choppers. Okay, I watch it. I know all about y'all, all right? And if you watch the show Nashville, apparently you know all about me. Um, no, um, we are nothing like the show Nashville, and I'm sure you're nothing like that garage on television that we all see. Um, this is my second time uh, to uh, this area, and uh, I got to play um, at West Point one time. Yeah. And that was amazing. Um, I, loved, I loved playing for cadets. I've never seen people more overdressed for a concert, but um, respect to them. Thank you for being a little more casual tonight. Um, <laughs> So, uh, but it was awesome, and I always wanted to come back, and here I am. I was here uh, with the guys on Third Day, and you know when you're uh, when you're opening uh, for a big band like Third Day, you only get you know we get 25 minutes, and I don't get to talk a lot. And I'm going to warn you, I I've got a lot of talking to do tonight. Okay. Woo! I'm saving it. Um, uh, no, I promise I won't talk too much because like that's like my least favorite thing when I go to hear somebody sing and they talk the whole time. <laughs> so I just laughed. Yes, I agree. So I won't. I, I, I know that you really came to hear me sing, but <clears throat> one of the things that I, I love getting to do when it's just me and my guitar is, is kind of tell you the story behind the songs that maybe you've heard and, um, and uh, if you've wondered where they came from. I, I write every song that I sing. Um, I'm making a new record right now, so that first song that um, I sang for you tonight, I've never sang for anybody other than me. Yes. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I really wanted to uh, just, it's been fun to be in the studio, but I love that song, One Way to Heaven. Um, I was talking to a guy earlier tonight um, that was uh, in an ambulance ride. He was injured on his way to the ER, and he was like, well, I've got time with two uh, um, paramedics here. I guess I could share Jesus with them right now. And he's the one bleeding on the head, you know. And, and uh, he was telling me that he asked, he asked one of the paramedics if, if they knew um, where they were going to go um, after they died. And, he, and, and the guy said, well, you know, I, I feel like I've, I've been a pretty good person. I've done a lot of good things in my life. And, and uh, I, think, I think I'm going to get to go to heaven. He's like, oh man, I hate to break it to you, but you got that all wrong, you know? And uh, you can really ruin somebody's day um, like that. Um, but Jesus is the one way to heaven. And yeah, amen. I can say that. I can say that um, with confidence. I'm, I'm more than believe it. Belief just seems like not enough. I just know it with every part of who I am, that he lived and died and rose again so that I could go to heaven. And um, so here's the thing, I, you know, who knows how long we have on this earth. And that, and that guy who was on his way to uh, the ER ended up being just fine. Um, but we never know um, when we're going to get to share Jesus with people. And I know that a lot of you probably commute into the city and uh, so you're probably crunched in on some commuter uh, bus or um, a subway. A, the New York subway is a great battlefield, admission yeah. field. Amen? There's a lot of funny stuff that goes on there. Um, uh, but there's, there's a song. Um, actually, that's how I wrote Give Me Your Eyes. I wrote Give Me Your Eyes in the plane. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sing that one later. But, um, I wrote that one on my way back from uh, Seattle. I was on a long flight from Seattle to Nashville. And uh, I just started to ask myself, I was that guy that pulled my hoodie over my head and just and tried to go to sleep and make the five hour flight go by quick. And so we're laying in the plane and I didn't say one word to the person next to me. So I, I, I just said, Lord, give me your eyes, even just for a second. Give me your eyes so I can see. And I really um, prayed that, and so I sing it every night, but if you're going to sing something like that, um, 
you have to live it. And God is making sure that I live that. Um, he takes very seriously the prayers that we send up to Him. So, um, I love to write. And uh, I grew up in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, there's a lot of great songwriters that come out of Nashville. And uh, I brought my tea. Maybe I didn't bring my tea out with me. Um, I'll get a swoop of water after this one. But I love writing. And when I was a teenager, I started writing songs. It was like therapy. And I started writing songs like letters to people. And uh, this is one that I wrote a long time ago. I wish you could see me now. I wish I could show you how unknown I was. It used to be magic, little on the right side too, but I'm not I was.
So, so please know, if you're going through something really hard in your family right now, the church is the first place you should run. I'm from the South, and a lot of times we, we don't make people feel very comfortable if we know they're sinners. Since when did Jesus come for anybody else but a sinner, you know? That's right. We need a lot of help in this world through something like marriage, which is really difficult. It's one of the few covenants that you make in your life. And it takes a lot of work to stick with that covenant. I got to work through things with my dad. I forgave him. I became a Christian when I was 16 years old. Um, there's a great book. I see your Young Life shirt over there. Young Life is uh, who introduced Jesus to me when I was 16. Amen. And uh, I got to tell my dad about, about love and about forgiveness. It blew his mind. And he wanted it to. But I never, uh, never got to see my stepmom again. And then the miracle and curse of Facebook came along. <laughs> <laughs> and we reconnected and uh, it was like tying up some loose ends, and I got to, I got to forgive her as well. This song was written for her. The thing I find most amazing in amazing grace is the chance to give it out. Maybe that's what love is all about. I wish you could see me now. I wish I could show you how 